Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. As some of you may know, I have a miniature dash hound puppy named Stella. And when you have a puppy, there's a lot of things that you need to have around the house, like food bowls, food containers, toys, crates, blankets, puppy pads, literally just so much stuff everywhere. And to help keep my house clean and just looking nice, I try to buy this stuff kind of aesthetically pleasing looking and stuff that matches with my house. And most things do have options for, you know, like pretty nice looking things. But the one thing that I cannot find a nice looking version of is a dog crate. All of them are either very bulky or they look like cages or they're ugly colors or they're just like not cute. So I bought this crate. It's just like a standard black caged version of a crate. And Stella's breed is just by nature a very destructive breed. So she has gone through a few beds and this is the only bed that she seems to not want to destroy. Which is kind of annoying because it's not that cute of a bed. It literally has cats on it. So today's mission is to make a cuter version of that bed and a crate cover so that it doesn't look like there's just like this black cage in the house. I want it to look nice and I want it to be personalized for Stella and be a nice addition to the room instead of just some junk in the corner. There is a few different ways that you can go about this. I looked on Pinterest and there's a couple different options but for me the materials that I'm going to use is canvas material, string, scissors, paint, a sewing machine, and something fluffy. First thing we did was measure out how much material we needed. So we just laid the fabric on top of the crate and then marked where we needed to cut it. Then laid it on the ground and cut out our pieces. So I decided that for my crate, I want the back to be completely covered. It doesn't need to roll up, but I want both sides to be able to roll up in case I want to leave it open for her. And I want the front to be open with just a little bit overhanging the top so that I can put her name on it. So I used one piece of material to cover the two sides in the top and then we sewed on the back piece in the front piece. I used a measuring tape to make sure that we were cutting straight lines because it's kind of hard to tell when your material is like this. And then once all the pieces were cut, we used an iron to flatten out the material to make sure that it's nice and even and it just looks better. And then we also used the iron to fold over where the hems will be for the sewing machine. The iron just helps it stay completely folded and creased so that you're able to stick the pins in and see that it's an even line. So now that we have all the material for the cover cut, measured, and folded, it's all ready to be sewn. So for this, we used a sewing machine. And this is where it gets a little bit confusing because you wanna make sure that the hem is on the inside so that it looks better from the outside, if that makes sense. So you kind of fold everything inside out. So if these are the pieces of materials, then you want the folds to go in like this instead of out because it'll look a lot nicer. It's kind of like on a t-shirt, if you look on the inside, that's where all the folds and creases are and the outside is the nice looking hem. To be able to roll up the sides, we needed to have string and I wanted to have both pieces of string hanging on the outside because knowing Stella, she's probably gonna try and eat and play with the string if it's on the inside. But unfortunately, it just works out a lot better if there's one string on the outside and one string on the inside so then it's easier to tie it up. So I'm just gonna have to hope that she doesn't completely destroy the strings. So to get the string on, it's just one piece of long string and then half of it is hanging out the front, half of it is hanging out the inside, and then when we did the sewing, just sewed right over the rope. So this is what the shape looks like lying on the floor. It's kind of like what a cube looks like when you unfold it, and now it's the perfect shape to lay over the crate. Now that we've got the whole foundation of the cover figured out, I wanna personalize it a little bit for her. So this part you can totally do however you want. You can paint it, you can put glitter, stickers, literally anything on it. I personally just want to paint her name on the front and add a little bit of trees and mountains and make it look kind of rustic. So this is the final result of what the crate cover looks like. much cuter than just having a black cage with a bed and it's also nice for Stella because I've heard that some people recommend that you put something over top the crate because it makes them feel more secure and more safe so the next thing we're gonna do for this little crate makeover is make a bed 
So I want the bed to match the crate cover. So I'm gonna use the same material. I'm gonna measure out the piece I need, cut it out, and then iron it so it's flat. Whenever you're making a kind of bed or pillow or slip, you wanna make sure that you do it inside out. Just like I said before, you want it to be kind of like a t-shirt where the nice part of the hem is on the outside, not the two pieces of fabric sticking out. For the inside of the bed, I'm using this crate mat. So now you can see the crate all together with the bed and the cover. It just looks so much better in the room. It's more comfortable for Stella and overall just a lot more aesthetically pleasing. I hope that if you're trying to do your own little crate makeover that this video helps you or at least sparks some ideas for what you can do with your crate. If you want to follow Stella on Instagram, her username is at Stella the Mini Docs. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe down below and I'll see you guys next time.